Before this video begins, I would like to give a big thanks and special shout out to Honda Car City Ido for allowing me to come and film their brand new products. Honda Car City Ido is located at the Senator Benigno S. Aquino Jr. Avenue, Barangay San Rafael, Diversion Road, Mandoriao, Ido Ido City, Philippines. For more inquiries about their dealership and current inventory, please feel free to check out their websites provided in the description box below. Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to make a close first of on this 2018 Honda BRT. There are four trip levels of the Honda BRT, including the model packages. In this particular trip that was shown in the video is the 1.5S, rated with a CVT or continuously variable transmission. In this video, I'm going to take this BRT for a full walk around with you. I will show you the most interesting features from the internet as most things to you. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this review. Only one engine choice for the BRV in all trims, and that is the Honda's Earth Dreams L15 Z1 1.5 liter 4 cylinder engine. It features a single overhead cam, 16 valve, and naturally aspirated petrol engine with multi point fuel injection and IV tech technology. This engine produces 118 horsepower with a maximum rev of 6600 rpm and 145 newton meters of torque with a maximum rev of 4600 rpm. Both S and V trims having only one transmission choice are paired and that is the continuously variable transmission or CVT. Fuel tank capacity takes 42 liters with the emission rating of Euro 4. The drivetrain of this BRV is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Since its first appearance in 2015, the bold runabout vehicle, or BRV in short, is a mini or subcompact crossover SUV that has a 7-seater total capacity. It is the entry level of Honda's crossover lineup that is sitting below their HRV. The BRV is based on the Honda Mobilo platform, which is the extended version of the Honda Brio and Honda Maze. In comparison to the Mobilio MPV, the BRV gets longer, wider, slight longer wheelbase, and a taller car thanks to the 201mm of ground clearance. The BRV styling is obviously similar to the Mobilio MPV, but the front fascia is influenced by the Bigger Brother CRV. Interior wise, the dashboard of the BRV is similar through the GK series Honda Jazz. The BRV is only sold for the Asian markets such as Indonesia, Thailand, India, Pakistan, Malaysia, and the Philippines. The BRV prototype was unveiled at the 2015 Gaikido Indonesia International Auto Show last August, again 2015, and it started in 2016 for the actual sales. Two engine choices that will offer for the BRV worldwide, which is the Earth Dreams L15 Z1 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine, or the Earth Dreams 1.5 liter ID Tech diesel engine. With those two engine choices, the BRV can be paired either a 6 speed manual or a CVT. However, the 1.5 liter Earth Dreams ID Tech diesel engine is available only for the Indian market. Regardless of being a crossover SUV, the all-wheel drive output is not available for the BRV. If you are looking for a spacious, practical, and a 7-seater subcompact crossover SUV, unlike any other subcompact crossover SUV such as Ford EcoSport and Hyundai Creta, well, the Honda BRV is got to be the right choice. The Honda BRV was launched in the Philippines way back September 2016. 
Only S and V trims can be offered for the BRV, and an L15Z1 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine is the only engine choice for the BRV. A CVT gearbox is the sole transmission for this mini SUV. A modulo packages for the BRV, both S and V, is an option. Exterior features for the BRV 1.5S includes halogen projector headlights, bulb type position lights, front fog lights, chrome front grille, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body color door handles, silver finished roof rails, projector taillights with LED position lights, high mount stop light, front intermittent wipers with washer, rear standard wiper with washer, rear windshield defrosting, and microtype antenna. A spare tire is located on the rear underneath. This BRV has equipped with safety features such as two airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, Honda's G-Con body, auto door lock with speed sensing system, auto door unlock with shift to park mechanism, Isofix child anchor seats, child safety lock, three-point ELR seat belts for both front, middle, and last row seats, seat belt reminder, keyless entry system, and alarm system with immobilizer. The BRV 1.5S has fitted with a 16-inch, 5-spoke, 2-tone alloy rims. The rims are wrapped in Bridgestone Ecopia AP150 tires that measures 195-60 R16. Brakes consist of front ventilated discs and rear drum brakes. McPherson struts and torsion beam setup are the suspension duties to make up the front and rear respectively. Speaker down there, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, central locking, window lock, window controls, all four windows on this car are fully powered while the driver's side window is fully automatic in both directions. Air can vent, little bit of storage right here. This button to turn off or on your vehicle stability assist. Here's the lever to pop up the bonnet. And the driver's seat of this PRP is fully manual adjustments with your seat back and this bar down here controls your seat position The BRV 1.5S does come standard with a variable ratio and speed proportional rack and pinion power steering system with hydraulic assistance. A three-spoke design steering wheel has featured with a urethane type with silver finished tie lights in each spokes on both sides and the multifunction controls for the infotainment display such as volume, seek track, and mode button are located on the left spoke of the steering wheel. With a 1.5-liter 4-cylinder engine, a continuously variable transmission or CVT is the only transmission for the BRV both S and V trims. 
CVT is a version of a regular automatic gearbox that receives an infinite amount of gear ratios which allows you to have a smoother ride and a better fuel consumption unlike the regular automatic. This car has featured with sport mode and low gear selector. Alright, so let's start first with the center console. Right there, you got your cup holder. Hand operated parking brake located right here. Two cup holders. Storage right there with a 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 180 watts of power. Another storage right there. Right here you got your standard climate control system with all of the controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. To the left is your fan speed. Here's the button to turn off or on your climate control system. Your defrost. Different modes right here. Max cool. Air conditioning. And to the right is your temperature. The BRV 1.5S does come standard with Honda's touchscreen head unit which features a 7-inch screen display, various media connectivity options, and 4 speakers for the sound system. On your left, here are the controls for your infotainment system with your power, home, volume controls, and back. While on the right, got your USB port. On the left side of your infotainment system, got your hazard switch. Two air vents. Right here, got your wiper controls. And your light indicator controls. The steering wheel gets a fully manual tilt only adjusting using this lever right here Grip handles for the driver, and the driver's side gets a sun visor with a vanity mirror. Cabin lights right above, manual dimming, rear view mirror. No speakers for the rear doors. Bottle holder, storage, window control. To gain access to the luster of the seat, use this lever right here 
just all you have to do just tumble it up. It is a one touch neck mechanism. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. I do have a space to stretch my feet underneath of the driver's seat. As for the legroom, I have this much as big as this. While the headroom, I have this much as big as this. The seats are nice and comfortable, and the space back here is not bad at all. You have only one storage pocket, which is located at the <coughs> sorry, which is located at the front passenger seat back. As shown earlier, cup holder. No rear center armrest for this one. Three air vents with your three setting mode fan speed. Grip handles on the seating for the rear on both sides. And your cabin light right above for the rear. Let's take a first glance of the dashboard. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the touchpad right above the number plate. Boot space of the VRV measures 223 liters of space. By folding down the third and second row seats, the boot space maximizes up to 470 and 521 liters respectively. Like the Mobilio, there are speakers, little storages, and cup holders on both sides that you can found on the last row seats. The last row seats on the BRV are fit for small children and small adults. I never tested to sit on the last row, but as a 5 foot 7 intern, it's not bad to hop in on the last row. Here's the tip, you can able to move the middle row seat forward by using the bar underneath to increase more legroom, which is the better option. As you found on the boot, there's a compartment that stores toolkit and jack inside.
The doors open quite wide in an almost like a 90 degree angle which provides you easy entrance and exit. The middle row seat do fold down or tumble it up in a 60-40 split while on the last row they do fold down in a 60 sorry 50-50 split you do have adjustable headrest in all three rows of the seats Speaker down there, bottle holder, storage, little storage right here, window control, as you found on the driver's seat, the front passenger seat gets a fully manual adjustments, again with your seat back and this bar down here controls your seat sliding position I forgot to mention got your BRV floor mats What a perfect size glove box. Grip handles for the front passenger side. And the front passenger side gets a sun visor with a vanity mirror as you found on the driver's side. Well guys, I hope you enjoy of this full walk around review of this 2018 Honda BRV 1.5S CVT. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I will see you next time for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!